everyone. I want to show you some cushions that I've been working on here at Designs by Donna. Um, this is a, um, it finishes at about two inches. It has a foam and um, foam inside of a down and feather uh, envelope. And it's really, really soft. It's springy. Unlike if I had just put down and feathers inside, you know how they want to just crush down. Well, putting a foam uh, piece inside the envelope makes it um, just sort of bounce right back into place. So I've heard a lot of you asking about down envelopes and um, what do they look like, where do you get them made, um, and how do you use them. So I want to show you some features of this one that I had made. Um, from Harris Pillows uh, in Beaufort, South Carolina. They're local to me, um, so that, that is my vendor. Um, they're great to work with. Um, now, if you're across the country, you may want to find a local vendor. Um, but what the down envelope is, is it actually looks huge, um, but they make it according to the specifications that you give them. So I told them that I wanted my cushion to finish at about two inches, and um, uh, they suggested I put a one-inch piece of foam inside. And what that does is it just um, it keeps the the um, the feather insert from looking limp or feeling limp. And here is one that I've already put the foam into. So you can see it just gives a really nice round look to um, the piece of foam and the insert itself. One of the features of this is not only does it have a zipper on the inside, but it has a, um, or in the back, the zipper's in the back, um, but it has a baffle. It's a piece of fabric that's stitched from the front all the way into the lining. And that baffle keeps the down and feathers from shifting front to back. And that will help in the, um, the overall look of your cushion. Now what I do is I will take my piece of foam and I'll spray some silicone on my foam. And that will help the, um, that will help the piece of foam slide into the cushion much easier. Working with a one inch piece of foam is not quite as difficult as if you've ever tried to stuff a piece of four inch foam into a cushion, that can be kind of a, a challenge. But um, spraying the silicone on there does help to um, make it slide in a little bit easier. So once you've got your foam and you just cover, you just close your zipper and then you're ready to insert it into your cushion. So that is what a, uh, a down envelope looks like. Um, now, some of the features on this cushion is I wanted, um, I wanted a zipper closure, for sure. Um, but I also wanted a really nice, clean look in the back of the cushion. So I did an invisible zipper next to welt cord. Um, and then that will allow the client to remove the cushion when she wants to have it laundered or... Um, or dry cleaned. And as I always say, the only thing in, on an invisible zipper that you can see is the zipper pull. And there is the zipper pull, but the invisible zipper is just completely closed or, or covered by the weld cord. So that's a great look for this type of um, a cushion. And one other little feature that we did, and I kind of got this idea from Kim's upholstery on something that she showed on one of her sites. Um, although I use Velcro, she has a snap machine, um, and I don't have that. So I use Velcro, but then I made um, a, a fabric-covered button because, as you know, I love buttons, and I love embellishments, but sometimes I say less is more. So I made a simple uh, covered button that matches the, the uh, cushion itself uh, because I just wanted it to be a nice detail. So I hope that um, you've learned a little something from this. Um, hope you're not afraid of uh, down envelopes and down inserts for your cushions. And um, I hope that you have a fun and creative day.